everybody, and good Thursday evening to you. It is the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. We're keeping an eye on the radar this evening as we still have that chance of a, a ground whitening snow shower in a couple of spots. We'll talk about that, but let's first check out where we've been so far in January as the month is quickly coming to a close. Only five more days to go in January, and what a mild month it has been. Currently, we stand at 9.9 .9 degrees above average. When you factor in highs and lows, graphically displayed here are the highs, including today's high of 34 degrees. Now, we're certainly going to finish in the top 10, maybe even top 5, as far as the warmest Januaries on record. Right now, we're in fourth place. If the month were to end today, it would be the fourth warmest January on record, barely trailing 2006. Uh, at the top of the list, some old records dating back to the 1930s. 1932 and 33 are the top two warmest Januaries on record. Some more uh, modern warm Januarys include 2002, 1998 a few years ago, and 2020, and of course uh, 2006 on this list as well. That uh, winter of 2005-2006 was like a dramatic flip. It was pretty cold in December and early January that year, but then it turned into a blowtorch second half of the winter back in 2005-2006. Uh, All right, back here in the present in 2023, we have some flurries around. The threat for heavier snow squalls and impactful weather this evening uh, appears to be diminishing. Now, there's still some pockets where the snow is coming down at a more decent clip, including as of this recording at 7.05, a little burst of heavier snow over towards Sharon, West Middlesex, Lackawanna, um, heading over towards Mercer and Findlay. But that's kind of the exception. The rule is mostly just flurries. The the Certainly the, the model depictions of the trends this afternoon and early this evening. They were a little overdone, we think, uh, from last evening through this morning. Uh, some of the model information was, you know, pretty uh, pretty uh, strongly suggesting that we'd be dealing with some uh, hefty squalls and perhaps a couple of inches worth of snow in some spots. It just doesn't look like that's going to come to fruition. Uh, some light snow and flurries, and we'll have to be vigilant for some slick spots, but uh, for the most part, the weather fairly low impact from here on out this evening. Our uh, latest run here of uh, one of our models shows maybe a coating in some spots, but we no longer have the threat for a couple of inches in localized areas uh, like we talked about last evening and even as recently as this morning. Now, Friday evening, again, it's not going to be much, but I do think there can be a little bit of snow trying to track our way as we go into the evening, and maybe we get a couple of tenths, maybe a half an inch worth of snow in some spots Friday evening, but for most of Friday during the daylight hours, we'll kind of be in between systems. A flurry to start, the sky will try to brighten briefly in the afternoon. The snow shower activity Friday is a handful of hours after sunset and lasts a few hours. For the most part, not a big deal, but much like this evening, we'll just have to be vigilant uh, for any uh, slick spots that could develop. But temperatures will actually be rising Friday night as this warm front pushes in. We'll be above freezing as Saturday gets underway. A decent Saturday, just fairly cloudy. Again, kind of in between systems for the start of the weekend. By Sunday, this front approaches. This is a pretty strong front. So there's really cold air on the other side, but it doesn't look like we get in on that side of the front. I think Sunday will be on the mild side of the front, so we'll have no trouble getting into the upper 30s to around 40. In fact, warm enough that we should see mostly rain showers on Sunday. A couple of wet snowflakes possible, especially to our north, closer to uh, Interstate 90, but for the most part, rain showers as we wrap up the weekend. So, uh, let's skip that graphic. I meant to uh, uh, not include that one. That was from last evening. The weekend forecast. Let's go to that one. 39 degrees on Saturday, 40 on Sunday. Of course, average is in the mid-30s at this time of the year, so both days will be warmer than the average. No major winter storms this weekend. No major winter storms expected for next week. A couple of systems will keep an eye on the trends, but nothing would suggest we have anything that dramatic coming our way at the end of January and the very start of February. But confidence is increasing that February is going to start on a pretty cold note, especially at the end of next week, say February 2nd and 3rd, and maybe when the, the harshest cold is around. And it won't be like Christmas, but I think we may struggle to get out of the lower 20s for a day or two at the end of next week. There will be warmer times after that. Uh, there is some model disagreement as to... February's overall look, but more models than not are suggesting a mild look in February after a cold start. Uh, the southeast ridge, a ridge of high pressure that likes to f situate itself over here, especially in a La Nina year in February, uh, a lot of modeling suggesting it flexes its muscles more often than not in February, keeping the cold and stormy weather mostly to our north and to our west. Now again, there's not total model consensus on this, but the majority of models 
have that look to them right now. There's going to be some cold times in February. There's going to be occasional snow in February, just kind of like January. January is going to go to the record books as one of the warmest Januaries on record, but we've had a little bit of wintry intrigue of late. Uh, a, a mild month in, in the middle of winter does not mean no snow and start to finish warmth. But uh, February could take on maybe kind of a similar flavor to January if some of those warmer model ideas do pan out. That'll do it for me tonight on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you right back here on Friday.